Fonzer over Collier, you're welcome indeed to another edition of the programme where we have something quite special for you this week because we're here in the Grove Ballroom, Bunny Conlin, for the Bunny Conlin Show Dance. Now, the reason we're here is because this is one of probably the last remaining ballrooms in County Mayo where there's a dance. Um, tonight, we're going to reminisce and we'll be talking to people that danced here over the years, uh, people who actually were involved in the ballroom, and it's hard to believe it opened in 1951. It was built in 1950 by a local man called Martin Judge and the first dance was held here on the 20th of May 1951 to the great Jack Rowan show band from Ballina. Now it closed in 1961 for renovations, opened again in 1962 at the explosion of the show band scene. Great timing indeed. And during the 60s all the great bands played here. In fact, Big Tom and the Mainliners played their first Mayo date here in this ballroom in November 1967 and he got a fee of 50 punts which was a lot of money at the time and dancing went from 9 o'clock to 2 a.m. in the morning and the admission fee of course went up to 6 shillings and for the bigger bands 7 and 6 pence and as they say the rest is history so we're going to reminisce tonight talk to people who dance in this ballroom over the years so we hope you enjoy it My first dance, if you could believe it, many years ago, and I think I was put children at about eight years, you'd be in carrying the box of rosettes. So that was, you thought you were a man then when you were at that. So you weren't let to the dance at that. But I was about 13, and I was let to be the first dance in, down here. But it, it, I wasn't let for another while afterwards. You were only got to the show dance. So you came down, and it was all new to you. You'd look across, and you'd see a full, uh, full sideline of ladies on that side, and you see the men, and then the dance had started, and they'd all seemingly go across the hall and they'd make a, a burst across. They'd probably have someone in mind and they'd go for and hopefully it would work out and they'd be away off the floor and then there'd be a few more coming behind straggling and they'd get more courage because there'd be a few on the floor. And that was my first night, that's what I seen. But you'd be shying into the corner because you'd be just there and you'd be it's a surprise, I suppose, and you're all new to you. That time, it's a long time ago. I'm, I'm just over 60 now, so you know, at 12 years of age, I was a young fella. I was what? That was, that's 48 years ago it's a long time do you remember who was playing on stage that night john to my memory it would be doc carroll and the royal blues and they were fantastic because that time there used to be a summertime festival and that would go on three you'd have one one during the summer and you would have another one then at christmas and maybe the ga would take it on maybe at easter time now most of these these dances will be run by the show committee because the show committee year bought that in 19 I'd say 51 it was about there were about 3 years set up and the re, uh, 3 years after the set up as the show and the reason they took this on was to pay they they they, they ran the show to pay off this the, the this dance hall what happens on this night is it's not really for making money, the show dance, it's for, it's for to say thanks to our stewards. And that's what it was many years ago, to say thanks to the stewards. And it's still that way. They come in and they enjoy the night. It's a, a kind of a round-up if everything goes well. And it's the finishing off. And probably we might get up tomorrow at 2 o'clock, but that's no harem. And John, are most of the features in the ballroom the same as they were going back over the years? Like the, dan the maple dance floor here, there was a mineral bar, those, there was no alcohol in those days, and the seating, I see there's carpet on the seating as well. Well, uh, the, I, uh, the, yeah, that has come on, we, we do have an odd play here during the, so, uh, during the back end of the year, but that floor is the original floor, and a few years ago we did get it all supported under, uh, underneath. There was a family of the McAndrews, and they came and they done it through the uh, through winter months, and they have it all supported. It's a perfect floor. That was one of the best floors in the west of Ireland in them days, and it still retains that. And we, uh, when, when we'd have our show day over, we'd always invest a little bit of money, and we all still do. We just painted it up a bit this time after the three years. It's three years since we were here before. I'm sure it's fantastic. Pat's, uh, Pat's Country Road Show performing here tonight. You've been coming here for many years to the Grove Ballroom uh, and Bunny Con. Uh, many years, surely. And uh, I'd say I've enjoyed every one of them. And they were always good crack, uh, great crack actually. Uh, when the crowd start coming in at 12 o'clock, uh, all they do is dance and drink. 
That's uh, who are some of the bands that were you would have uh, oh, played the before the command? Uh, well, Jerry Guthrie was here two or three times. Uh, Robert Mazel, uh, Mick Flavin, Declan Ernie. And uh, what kind of music would you be playing now for the dancers tonight? Pat? Oh, uh, country music. Uh, three waltzes, three jives, and two foxtrots. <laughs> that, that's that's it. It's the same old story, you know. And a lot of big Tom now. A lot of big Tom's fans will be here tonight. And if you would play big Tom all night when they come, now. Years ago, they used to come early, but they don't come as early now, you know. And uh, you'll see them coming up the road now at half twelve, one o'clock. That's uh, Jerry, well, Jerry starts at twelve, and uh, but it's good fun and good crack. And it's a night that uh, all the workers on the on the day of the show they get in free for the night, really? which it's is kind which of a thank you, a thank you job, yeah. The late Paddy Moran was involved with the Grove Ballroom from the early 60s right up until his untimely passing. Here he recalls booking Big Tom and the Mainliners for their first dance in Mayo, which took place in the Grove Ballroom. We started uh, playing a number of s smaller bands, we'd say, and people like, now bands like, uh, we used to have bands here like um, the Vin Brogan and the Sanatones from Foxford. The Nairy Brothers from Foxford, you know, we had Phil Munley from Cross Malina, Bobby McCaffrey Banana, who was a, a, a regular here. One night then, I, I was in the Marine in Scrown uh, to dance, and um, Big Tom and the Mainlanders were playing. We booked a date in September of 67, and the fee was £50. And one of the bands said to the other, said to me, uh, is this Sligo? And I said, no, this is Mayo. I said, we're just inside the border, I said. So he turned to one of the lads and he said, uh, well, this is our first time playing in Mayo. The swing in 60s was a, was a great era, um, an, in, an innocent era. And, um, you know, uh, I know things move on and you have to change and all that type of thing. But um, uh, there was a period there from, from you know, 60, 63 up to up to 70 like they were they were they were they were great like they were great who left the door to heaven open who turned their head for a moment who told you that my your uh, home gig tonight, just outside your hometown of Banana, yeah. on the Connor Show, always a great night. Well, it is, it's, it's yeah. historic, you know, for anyone that grew up in this area, I'm from the town of Banana there, but the Bunny Connor Show and the show dance is a huge part of our local thing every year. It marks the summer, the middle of the summer, and I'm just delighted to be back in the Grove, it's brilliant, yeah. And you've great memories of the Grove before you got into the show band scene. I have, yeah, I was just telling you there off here, uh, one, two, three, four pillars back there, you can't see it in shop, but you'll see it, I'm sure, over the programme. Myself and Trevor Miles stood there many's a night watching the big stars of the day, and of, like Mick Flav and, and Declan Nerney and all those people playing on that stage there, and little did we think we'd ever get a chance ourselves to do it, so it's special for me to play here, you know, it really is. Like. And, and is that one of the reasons you got involved with the music uh, business and to go on the road with a band, Jerry? Well, I suppose growing up as a young fella, like, you know, well, I mentioned Trevor Miles, he would be a big reason I got into music because the first few notes I could ever play, he showed me, you know. And uh, as young fellas around here, uh, the only place you could see a live band really would have been the upper deck and cross my line now because you had no way of getting anywhere else, don't forget. And then when the summertime had come, the show dance in Bunny Connell. And uh, we always made an effort to get out when we could. Like, if we weren't doing a local gig ourselves, and even if we were, because it doesn't start that early, we'd come out to Bunny Collin to see the, the big band of the day, you know. Could you describe just one of those nights? What, what was it like? Well, at the time, I suppose that at that time, there was uh, more of a mystery to what big bands did like, or what which the show band, we call them show bands, they're country bands, they call them now, you know. Uh, it's a mystery, you know, when you're outside the circle, it's a mystery how they get up there uh, get five or six lads together and make this sound and it sounds so good and it looks so good so to us it was a mystery like and you'd be down there like I was probably 19 or 20 that's 18, 19, 20 like and you'd be down there trying to suss out you know I'd say when Nernie would be here and he'd be doing something he's a great old player you know 
uh, you'd be trying to suss what he was doing, like, you know, and, and getting a read on everything that was going on. It was really special, you know, and at, at that time, it's great to see, like, a big event like this still keeping a traditional thing, like a dance, like a show dance, you know, because we're in a place here, a ballroom, they're scarce. Yes. Ballrooms are scarce, you know, there's not many of them left, like, and we don't get a chance to play them. And, and I would imagine this is one of the, uh, probably the only ballroom in Mayo where there's an actual dance in it. It's the only one I know of anyway that's, that's left. There's probably a couple of ballrooms still left, but there's no gig that there is a, you know, a, a dance in, you know. And it's just great to be part of it, isn't it? It's brilliant. Can I just ask you how things are going in general, Jerry? Things are going really good, Henry. <clears throat> we had a very busy uh, July. Very busy. June, July was very busy. We were kind of out the door, but there's a lot of festivals and stuff on. Uh, the year ahead is good too, thanks be to God. Things are still, it's not back to where it was before. We won't mention the other thing happened. Um, but it's, it's on its knees now and it's climbing. So we're happy. I'm happy. Once we can work, we're still better off than we were 12 months ago. So thanks be to God, it's good. You have a great new single out. It's getting tremendous here, play, Jerry. <laughs> we took out one there a couple of weeks ago called The Dog House. That's a cover of an old American hit for John Connolly that I, I came across and I had it in my back pocket for a while and we needed something in, in the summer. And I have actually have two or three other singles now ready to go on the build-up to our album for the autumn. So it's busy. It's great. Great. Well, look, have a great night tonight, Jerry. Hopefully it'll be great. And if, uh, next year, folks, put it in your diary. Bunny Conlon Show up. Make sure you're at it. It's going to be brilliant. Yes, my heart will lead me back home to my Johnny go. Ah, you're singing well and buddy Colin, good on you. Take a little break, we'll be right back to you very short. Congratulations on being selected. The Bunny Conlon Rose for 2022. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm feeling absolutely ecstatic. Like I, I was, I was in absolute shock when they called out my name. Like for a few seconds, I was like, oh, it's actually my name. And Chloe was beside me, and she hugged me, and she was like, oh, you're the winner. I was like, oh, because it was just all surreal at the start. Like you know. And uh, are, are you from the area, Laura? Um, so I'm just from Corbella, so that's just about five minutes away from Bunny Conlon. I would have grew up with some of the lads and the girls from Bunny Conlon, so I would have been here a good few times at football matches and stuff. I'm told from a young age that you always wanted to be a Rose, Laura. Yeah, I, I always used to come to the Bunny Conlon show with my uh, chickens. I had a chicken farm and um, I always used to look up at the Bunny Conlon show rows and I'd be like, oh, someday I'll be up there, someday I'll be up there. So it's just absolutely lovely to, to win it this year. So what will this now be, the rows of Bunny Conlon? I presume you have a lot of engagements now over the next year. Yeah, so there's a, there's going to be a few more events this year. Um, I've uh, the Miss Mayo coming up now in, Aug in August. It's the first of August now, so it's coming up pretty soon. Um, and there'll be a number of events throughout the year, so I'm excited for that. And you mind me asking you, what do you work at? Um, so for the summer, I'm working in the Ocean Sands Hotel as a waitress. Um, and for the school year, I'm uh, studying. I'm going into second year studying home economics and Irish teaching in St Angela's. So um, it's a lot of hard work, but uh, the hard work pays off. And I love all the girls and all the lecturers down there. So it's 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 going to be a good year. <laughs> so no chickens uh, at the Bunny Conlon show the last year. <laughs> um, I I used to have 21. Now I only have two. Uh, but uh, I didn't bring the two over this year, but I might bring them over next year. <laughs> Congratulations, Laura, and have a tremendous year as the Bunny Collin Rose for 2022. Th thank you so much. Thank you. Well, first of all, I'll ask you your name, and where you're from. Okay, hi, I'm Lisa Gallagher. I'm from Grove Road, Bunny Collin. I'm Claire Dennis. I'm from Ballina. I'm Izzy Healy. I'm from Crumbler South. Do you often come to the dance here in Bunny Conlon? We'd never goal? miss it. Yeah, we'd never miss it. We love it. We love it. We love it. Yeah. And would you prefer the dances here than the disco? Prefer oh, yeah. dancing here because it's better crack. There's no crack at the discos nowadays. Better crowds out the dancing. Yeah. yeah. And are you good dancers? Oh. I mean, can you jive a mod? Yeah. 
And would you be coming here for any other reason? Like, would you be looking for a guy to dance with? Oh, no, Well, can I ask your name where you're from? My name is Sharon and I come from Westport, County Mayo. And I'm here with my cousin on my 50th birthday and I'm really excited about getting into the dance. But yeah. himself has been here before. So. Yeah, some of the story you'd have great stories here with the ballroom over the years. Well we've we've always came every year down to it, you know, and we have. We've had a laugh every year to say the least. Yeah. And uh, there's a, st a certain story going back to the 60s that... Uh, yeah, well, I left, a man, I left a man home tonight uh, as I got down, and I have heard a rumour that he drove uh, an Austin Mini into the hall here in 1966 when the, there wasn't a tent there to block the door. So he did. He actually drove it in on the dance floor, turned it, and drove it back out again. And that is a fact. And uh, do you remember some of the bands that played here over the years? Uh, uh, who would have been your uh, favourite? Well, well, again, Declan Nurney and, you know, Mick... Flav and, and all the usual, but you know, it was always a good night guaranteed anyway. Tracy, you're in your home parish uh, this evening. I presume you couldn't miss the Bully College. Absolutely not. It's great to see it back since 2019. Um, unfortunately, the day was so wet, but it's lovely to see everybody coming in here now tonight to the show dance. Uh, so hopefully we'll have a great night here at Jerry Guthrie, dance the night away. And would this have been a regular for you at a show dance uh, over the years? Absolutely, this is where I learned how to jive, I uh, suppose when we were growing up. Um, it was the place you came to with friends, um, so anybody, everybody out on the floor jiving the night away to whoever was playing here on show night. So it's always been a great venue for locals and non-locals alike. And your parents obviously would have danced here as well over the years. Yeah, absolutely. So we would have come here with them tonight and other nights um, and danced with them. My father is a great diver, so I would have always danced with them here. and We'd have a great night uh, dancing along together. And uh, this particular night, I suppose the fact happened most year, a lot of people just meet up for that occasion. Absolutely, it's so lovely to walk around the show field on show day and just to meet up with friends that maybe you mightn't have seen. Um, it attracts a lot of people that are living in England from the locality back to the area. So Bunny Collin would have a great connection with Leeds and London. So those people, there's a lot of those people back, I suppose, since 2019, a lot of them mightn't have been back. So it's great to see a lot of them here tonight and uh, looking forward to meeting up with them all. And you look forward to a bit of dancing? Uh, absolutely, Can somebody asked me out. <laughs> the night Larry Cunningham played in the goal. I do surely. So it was a great night, a big crowd. Ballroom never changed. The crowds were massive that time compared to now. Uh, brilliant. It'd be in the be in the middle of the, in the middle sixties. The swing in sixties as we'll say. Brilliant. Enjoyed it. A wonderful night altogether. And, and Out on its own. And, and just how big was the crowd that time? I'd say there was 3,000 people here. So there were half of them wouldn't get in? Ah oh, no, half of them didn't get in at all. No, but they were outside dancing. Outside. And no drink, which was amazing, compared to nowadays. And how, how did the dance work? Were the guys all on this side? All the guys on one side and the women on the other side. And all a, a charge across the floor then when the number would start. And it knock you down. Well, it won't be like that tonight, will it? I know it won't. No, it's different now. It's different now. They're, they're more, they're more, um, they're more relaxed now. They'll take it as it comes. So you're looking forward to the dance? Tonight? I am, surely now. And looking forward to Jerry Guthrie, our local man, Bellinay man. And are you a good dancer? No, I'm not a dancer, but I love listening to good, good guitar players and good, good, good musicians and good good trumpet players and saxophone and the whole shebang. Piano players especially. And I love a good drummer as well. 
Oh, she back. Yes, the man that, the man that, the man that, that pushes them on from behind. Can I ask you your name? Tommy Murray. And where are you from, Tom? Kogeiske. And were you at the show today? I was at the show today. And did you enjoy it? Huh? I enjoyed it. So you, you come dancing here now tonight? I will, yeah. And have you been in the Gove uh, Ballroom before? Oh, I have. Uh, every time there was a show, I came here. And what do you enjoy about the dancing? Oh, well, it's nice to get out to dancing. And are you a good dancer? Oh, not a great dancer. <laughs> What's your favourite kind of dancing? Driving, I'd be mostly into it. And uh, are you a bachelor, Tommy? I'm a bachelor. And would you be looking for a woman tonight now? I could be looking for a woman. <laughs> would you have to be a good dancer? She'd have to be a good dancer. Well, as good as me, you know, I'm not the best either. Well, the Grove was a fine dance hall in his day. And we just retained it for the simple reason it's some bit of history of our parish. And I think it's nice to just keep it there. It's there and maybe down the road someone will elaborate and maybe do it up and maybe the dancers will come back again. I cannot say they will. We, there was discos, was, it was a, was a thing we never seen one time, but they, the, 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 they're the number one today, the discos. So you don't know, M music might come back again, but they'd have to do a little bit of a job on it, but we're just keeping it there. And will you get a chance to have a little dance on the floor tonight, John? Well, the night wouldn't be right without having a twist before we go home. Now, we're doing a bit of, we have to do the door tonight, but you, you get 20 minutes before it's over, and uh, I wouldn't leave the hall without an old run round it before, no matter what comes with it. It's a bit of history, and it's nice to do it. <laughs> You can watch these programs up on YouTube and Facebook on the iMeo TV Show YouTube channel. Thank you to everybody who participated in the program. So until the next time, stand before.